Well, all the seasons of Stranger Things are really good, but today I'm going to rank my personal favorite seasons. In today's video, I'll be talking about the worst season to the best season. Your opinions might differ from mine, so feel free to share your favorite season in the comments. Number 4 is Season 1. Don't get me wrong, I know this season kicked off everything and introduced the characters we later fell in love with. However, compared to the other seasons, the pacing of this season felt quite slow to me. Especially the build-up in the early episodes seemed very slow, although character development was necessary. The pacing of this season could have been faster. But Will's disappearance and Eleven's appearance added a mystery to the show that kept the audience hooked until the end of the season. In this season, we were introduced to one fantastic character after another, where Will, Mike, Lucas, and Dustin's friendship also feels very genuine. However, season one focused more on the kids, which made it a bit difficult for adults to connect with the show. Nevertheless, everything from costumes to music and pop culture has given these things a nostalgic 80s vibe. Besides, the performances of all the actors were also superb, although I didn't find the story of season one as special because of its mystery. This season was still very good. Number three is season two. In this season, we were introduced to interesting characters like Max and Billy. However, this season also struggled to balance the storylines. Similar to season one, season two had pacing issues where we saw multiple storylines and character arcs simultaneously. This sometimes resulted in slow pacing in one episode and fast pacing in another. Nevertheless, season two delved deeper into the Upside Down, Hawkins Lab, Demogorgon, and Mind Flayer, adding complexity to the show. Compared to season one, Season 2 had more suspense and intensity, making it quite enjoyable. Due to the multiple storylines, fan-favorite characters like Lucas and Dustin received less screen time, which disappointed some fans. However, like Season 1, the cast delivered outstanding performances. One of the reasons I rank Season 2 above Season 1 is because of the fantastic pairing of Steve and Dustin we got to see, and most importantly, the relationship between Eleven and Hopper. Their father-daughter bond felt incredibly strong and genuine, which elevated this season even more. Number 2 is Season 3. In this season, we got to see amazing action, humor, and 80s nostalgia, and the mall setting was a stroke of genius. The Mind Flayer's control over Billy led to some truly intense moments, and who can forget its epic finale? The stakes were sky-high this season, with intense storylines and action-packed scenes that gave us goosebumps. However, while the comedy in this season was also great, sometimes it felt a bit out of place during intense moments. But many viewers, including myself, were heartbroken by Hopper's sacrifice at the end. Additionally, the music and mall setting added a whole new level of 80s nostalgia to this season. Audiences loved the friendship between Steve and Robin, and how can we forget the fantastic moments between fan-favorite duo Steve and Dustin? Their moments made this season even better. Although this season was very enjoyable, just like previous seasons, its plot and story weren't as exceptional. Besides the supernatural elements, we also saw emotional depth in themes like friendship, love, and Hopper's sacrifice, which made this season even more emotional. Number 1 is Season 4. In this season, we witnessed a lot of thrilling twists, emotional depth, and the best character development so far. The stakes in this season were the highest compared to other seasons, and the way the Duffer Brothers delivered the storyline was outstanding. In Season 4, the length of each episode was much longer compared to previous seasons, allowing all characters to have their screen time. They struggled to keep the story connected in previous seasons, but the way they connected the storyline of Season 4 back to Season 1 is commendable. Although we didn't get to see the duo of Steve and Dustin like Season 2 and 3, but each actor gave their best performance in this season. Compared to other seasons, the tone of Season 4 was much darker, giving it a different thrilling feel. I particularly enjoyed the storyline of Henry Creel or Vecna, and the way they connected Vecna to the Upside Down was impressive. Due to the longer episodes, the pacing of this season was quite slow, and the final episode was 2 hours and 20 minutes long, which is longer than most movies. However, this season felt like the best season of Stranger Things to me. After seeing the ending of this season, fans are now very excited for Season 5. How excited are you for Season 5, and which is your favorite season? Let me know in the comments. So see you in the next video before leaving. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.